Okay, so this is the first time I've seen the theme. I just barely looked at it. I have seen the collectibles, though, the Jam Focus. So, before I was thinking I want to collect something and have it follow me around using the pathfinding system, like little pixies or something, using that uh, uh, 2D platformer pathfinding system that I built earlier this week. Actually, that was last week. Well, anyways, I'll use that to have pixies or something follow me around and then um i'm gonna start out one place and i need to go out collect one pixie at a time and get it to follow me i don't know if i like that idea when i was thinking of it before um i wanted to have a ton of pixies following me around trying to bump into each other trying to get through just i want to see what would happen if that happened but um I'm thinking single pixies might work better for the theme. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going to do a pixies following me around though. Okay, so I ended up setting up all the basic stuff, a tile map, same how I set up all my other ones, pathfinder, this is literally just the pathfinder from the demonstration that I built earlier, and then pixie, right now it does literally nothing, and player, player has a bit of movement. Um, I still need to add the fine details like coyote jump and um, delay jump and a high jump when you hold it. Yeah, I'll add those later. For now, I'm just going to try to get the pixie to start bouncing and to try to follow the player everywhere. So this is the second day of the game jam. I got a bit of work done. The pixie now tries to go to the end and I could help it get to the end. I'm actually going to make so the player could jump actually pretty high and um, the pixie won't, the pixie will be set. So the player has to help the pixie to the end and he himself could get out. And then also I'm gonna make so that it's a little cage or something holding the pixie and then when the player touches it, then the pixie's set free and the player needs help it get to the end. He has to go back and forth between the end, he starts at the end and he has to go to the pixie and back. So I went ahead and added a couple things. I added the coyote jump, I added a double jump I mean, so when you hold down to jump longer, you could jump higher. Basically, just all the stuff I added to Lab 12B earlier. And then I made that little cage. If you touch it, a pixie jumps out. And this one only stores one pixie in it. Next, I'm probably going to make the spikes so that the pixie could die in them. And then I'm also thinking of making so that cages could hold different amounts of pixies. And each pixie might jump different heights. So that they take different paths and stuff like that. So I went ahead and added some art in. And made him into an acorn with a little hat on him. I kind of like it. And those animations. And then I added these spikes. And then added a little thing. So they trapped in a lantern. So yeah. And then next I'm actually planning on making three different sprites. They'll probably be different colors than just white. Okay, so this is the third day of the game jam. I ended up making so that there are different types of pixies. There's a white pixie, and then there's a green and a blue pixie. They each travel different speeds, they um, jump different heights, and then this also changes colors to indicate which pixie is currently gonna be released. So this one bounces a little lower and it's a bit faster, and then this one bounces the lowest and it's the fastest. So essentially on each level you need to get all three of these pixies passed. And then this door is going to open and you're going to walk through there and it's going to take you back to the level select where you select the new level. So I ended up building this level select screen. So if it's true the door is open, if it's false it's not. I'm going to later change that to be an actual door that's open or closed and then you could enter it if it's open. This is closed because you can't leave it. I'm going to make a select screen. Um, and I added some more levels. Just three right now. And then um, when you get all three pixies there, the door opens. So this door opens. You could go in there. And then the next door is going to be open. This is day four of the game jam. I went ahead and added a couple more things. I made the lantern bigger because it was pretty small. Added a actual door drawing and made so that after you win a level you leave through the same door you entered that way you don't have to walk through it all over again 
probably do a bit more work on the art. And yeah, it should be good. So this is day five of the game jam. I added these so now you could play if you're playing on the phone home button so that you could exit the levels and I need to make so you can enter the levels by clicking on them this is day six of the game jam so tomorrow is the last day um, I went ahead and made so that you could enter doors through pressing the upper arrow so you should be able to play completely on the phone if you wanted to because this is gonna be on the website I also went ahead and added a couple sound effects right now just to the uh, Pixies Bounce, the Pixies Death, and opening and completing the doors, and also you jump. So this is the last day of the game jam. I ended up uploading it to a site, setting up the site, making so that you could play it on the phone too, um, adding a download option. And then also just fixing a couple bugs here and there. I decided to get rid of the UI and just make so it only shows up if you have a touch screen. So if you're playing on the phone, then there should be UI things. And then, yeah, I went ahead and added the last few levels. And that's it. If you want to check out this game, it's on itch.io. Link in the description. And free to play. Plays on browser. You could download it. Thanks for watching, this was actually quite a bit of fun to make, and as always, any support you guys want to give is greatly appreciated.